and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me Victoria. It is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for clicking onto my video. So in today's video I'm going to be setting up a culture of Isocrisis Galbana. So before I dive into all about Isocrisis, let me first tell you a little bit about what algae are. Ah. So algae are not plants, even though plants also photosynthesise. Algae, and the singular alga, is a catch-all term for a group of diverse organisms, the cyanobacteria, microalgae and macroalgae. So cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae or cyanos, are a single-celled organism. You then have singly-celled but internally complex microalgae, and then you have macroalgae, also known as seaweeds. So algae are fundamentally different from plants because algae do not produce seeds, berries, scents or flowers. Isocrisis galbana is a single-celled golden algae. The thallus, or the body of the organism, appears as a single cell with flagella. A flagellum, the singular, is a hair-like structure capable of whip-like lashing movements. This strain also has a high concentration of the pigment fucosanthin, which is an accessory pigment for photosynthesis. So what are the uses for Isocrisis galbana? It is an outstanding food source for bivalve larvae, so it is highly cultured and used in bivalve aquaculture farms. As well as this, Isocrisis galbana is high in polyunsaturated fats such as DHA, so it is great for fish larvae and juvenile stages of mollusks. So here is everything I need to culture the Isocrisis galbana, which is a single-celled golden algae. So I've got a culture flask, which is from Algae Research and Supply in the US. I have a pipette. I have the algae here. I have two little vials of that. I have the growth nutrient out of my fridge. I have a cup of tea that is nearly empty and needs topping up. And I have the culture medium that I pre-prepared in the last video, which is reef salt and RO water made to 35 parts per thousand, which is seawater salinity, because that's what this is going to grow in, which is seawater. So first of all, we are going to take the Isocrisis galbana and we're going to pop it into our clean culture flask. Let's unscrew that here. And the best way of doing this is with a pipette. I'm going to just pop that all straight in. There we go. That's one, and get the second one. And that's all out of there. So we're now going to add some of the growth nutrient, which is like fertilizer you use on your garden, but for algae gets kept in the fridge and this is from reef phyto so i'm going to add one mil it's a nice big boost to get us started so we just pop that straight in there and then all we're going to do is top this up with the culture medium and pop on the lid so it's a very light color at the moment but as it grows and increases in density it will darken in color so that is really simply how to set up an isocrisis galbana culture you don't have to use an official culture flask you can use a clean jar or anything like that these are obviously specifically designed and they have the holes in the top for um oxygen for aeration but you can use something like a jar and that is now labelled. So temperature wise it's going to go on my sea monkey heating mat. I'm going to keep it around 25 degrees which seems to be a really good temperature for algae to grow. And I will provide you updates as it grows. So this is what Isocrisis galbana looks like under the microscope. So it's time for today's ocean fact and additional algae fact. So today's ocean fact is the Pacific Ocean is the deepest and the largest ocean. It is home to the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest point in the ocean. Only a very select number of people have actually been down to this depth because of the crushing pressure and extreme conditions. 
So for today's algae fact is 50 to 80% of the air we breathe comes from phytoplankton or algae. So at least every second breath we take comes from the ocean. So they were today's ocean facts. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you haven't already, please remember to hit that thumbs up, comment below and hit that bell for notifications when you subscribe. I really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and me. I hope you have a brilliant day, evening, night, wherever it is where you are. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.